Hello dear chess friends, what's up? After long time, here is again chess to max with you. And today guys, I am going to show you the most attacking and the most beautiful games that you can ever see in chess history. It's called the Evergreen game and now let's see why this game is so much beautiful. This game is played in 1852 in Berlin between one of the great attacking geniuses Adolf Anderson and his student Jean Dufresne. Let's see how game went on. White started with e4, e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, classic Italian game, and white uh, wants to play aggressively and plays b4. I am pretty sure that you know Evans Gambit. Uh, bishop takes b4, c3, bishop a5, d3, that's the standard lines of Evans Gambit, e takes d4 and castling by white. Then black plays d3, an interesting move, offering the pawn, but of course Adolf Anderson won't accept the pawn and he plays queen to b3, putting the pressure on this f7 pawn with his bishop and the queen. Black played queen f6, protecting the pawn. e5, of course, uh, that uh, offering is kind of a Trojan uh, present, let's say. If, uh, knight takes, uh, if knight takes e5, then simply rook e1, winning the knight uh, against the pawn. And therefore, uh, white doesn't accept this, uh, black doesn't accept this pawn and plays queen to g6. Rook e1 played by white, knight, uh, B, knight g e7, uh, preparing for castling, but actually in the uh, continuing the game, Jean de Fresne uh, doesn't remember castling and he loses. Uh, white plays bishop a3, putting pressure for the a3 uh, f8 diagonal. b5, going aggressive with black, but actually uh, castling was better move. Uh, here Adolf Anderson simply captures with queen b5 and rook b8, queen a4, bishop b6, putting the bishop to more uh, long diagonal and also pinning the f2 pawn against the king. Knight uh, bd2 activating the, another piece. Bishop uh, b7. Knight e4. Queen f3 and bishop captures d3. Uh, pinning uh, the of course uh, queen is pinned across the knight. And uh, Jean de Fresne sees it and simply plays queen h5. After knight f6 uh, check, we see that uh, this knight forks the uh, black king and the queen, but actually simply g takes f6 and after e takes f6, uh, white will capture this black knight and uh, there, will, there won't be any material lost. After this move, black plays uh, rook g8, uh, putting the pressure on this g2 pawn. White simply plays rook d1, and we will see in the game that this move is very deadly. Of course, here black plays without seeing the uh, black's threaten threatening position. Black plays. Queen takes f3. Actually, my engine shows that that's a very big mistake, and we will now see why. Instead of uh, uh, queen takes f3, queen h3 was best move in this position for the black. And we will now see why. As you see here, queen takes f3 is also a strong move, but loses in this position. Uh, we see that uh, g's 2 pawn is pinned and can't capture the queen. Also, queen simply threatens checkmate uh, on 1. But here is the 
beautiful uh, position of this game and here we see that actually when even you are getting checkmate in one you can win the game and here Adolf Anderson simply plays rook captures e7 very beautiful move black responds with knight captures e7 but actually king d8 could uh, elongate the game but we are continuing the game from here now uh, knight captures e7 and queen captures d7 what a move by adolf andersen he just simply loves sacrificing his pieces one by one of course uh, how can i say black should capture the queen because if king f8 then simply queen takes e8 was checkmate so therefore therefore black accept the sacrifice by playing king takes d7 and now white plays bishop f5 double check as we see here the iron of this position is that black queen actually can capture both uh, the check check giving pieces but actually it can't <laughs> capture neither of them because it's double check and king should move so black plays uh, queen uh, i'm sorry king e8 and here comes bishop d7 check of course uh, black king is getting checkmated now there is no way to run away from checkmate after simply king f8 uh, bishop captures e7 and it's checkmate what if a uh, king moved to d8 then simply again this checkmating pattern would work so so we see from this beautiful position that actually actually you should never give up <laughs> even in the position that you are getting checkmated in one and you can still win the game so guys, I hope you like this game and if so, please don't forget to click the like button on below and if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing which gives us a motivation and continues this kind of videos about chess. So guys, I hope uh, you like this video and see you on next videos. Goodbye.